Hello and welcome everyone. Racing pigeons have been a fascination for breeders and fanciers for generations. These birds are not just beautiful, they are incredibly intelligent, strong, and capable of covering vast distances in record-breaking times. But what separates a good racer from an elite champion? Why do certain bloodlines consistently dominate the most prestigious international competitions? In this deep dive, we're going to pull back the curtain on the fastest racing pigeon breeds in the world. We'll explore how they develop their incredible speed and endurance, why they are the top choice for competitive racing, and crucially, the advanced breeding science, the genetics, that makes these speedsters possible. Whether you're an experienced pigeon fancier or just beginning your journey, this guide will give you an unparalleled understanding of the sport's most competitive birds and their unique winning advantages. What makes a racing pigeon fast? Before we name the elite breeds, it's essential to understand the fundamental mechanics that determine a racing pigeon's speed and performance. A bird's ability to fly fast, navigate efficiently and endure long distances is a result of several finely tuned factors. Aerodynamic body shape. A top racer has a compact, streamlined shape. Think of a perfectly engineered missile. This design reduces wind resistance, allowing for efficient energy use. They possess a strong, deep chest, powerful wing muscles and lightweight bones, which is the perfect formula for sustained high-speed flight. Feather quality and wing structure. The quality, flexibility and alignment of a pigeon's primary and secondary feathers are critical. Birds with well-balanced wing structures experience less air drag and achieve more powerful, efficient wing beats, making every flap count. Muscle strength and endurance. Speed isn't enough, a racer needs staying power. The best pigeons have strong yet lightweight muscles that allow them to maintain high speeds over hundreds of miles without quickly exhausting themselves. Homing instinct and intelligence. The fastest pigeon is useless if it gets lost. A champion must have a powerful homing instinct and highly developed navigational intelligence. The elite racing breeds have superior spatial memory and orientation skills to find the most efficient route home. Breeding and genetics. Ultimately, the most successful racing pigeons are a product of selective breeding. Generations of careful pairing have refined and maximized their speed, endurance and intelligence making their genes the gold standard for superior racing performance. The power and peril of inbreeding. Inbreeding is the pairing of two pigeons with closely related genetics, such as father X daughter or brother X sister. When used correctly, this technique can powerfully reinforce specific, highly desirable traits. Advantages of controlled inbreeding. Preserves elite traits. If a bird has exceptional speed or navigation skills, inbreeding locks those superior genes into the bloodline for future generations, creates genetic consistency. Inbred pigeons tend to have predictable performance characteristics, making them easier to train and race. Develops superior families. Many of the best racing bloodlines, including the Janssens, were created through controlled inbreeding to achieve a pure racing phenotype. However, inbreeding is a double-edged sword. If mismanaged, the risks are significant. Weakened immune system. Excessive inbreeding reduces a pigeon's ability to fight off common diseases, making them more vulnerable. Lower fertility and genetic defects. Overuse can lead to reduced fertility rates, poor hatchability, and even physical deformities or weaker muscle structures. This leads us to the critical concept of balance. Outcrossing is the process of introducing a pigeon from an unrelated but equally strong bloodline into an existing family. Think of it as the genetic refresh button. Now the benefits of outcrossing are pretty significant. First off, you get a stronger immune system. Diverse genetics give pigeons a higher resistance to diseases and better overall health. Then there's enhanced stamina and energy. Outcross birds often show greater hybrid vigor, which leads to better endurance for those long distance races. 
Improved fertility is another key point. Genetic diversity directly improves hatchability and overall reproductive success, which helps prevent the decline you see in inbred lines. Outcrossing becomes absolutely essential when a bloodline starts to show signs of what we call inbreeding depression, like weaker performance, more frequent illness, and reduced vitality. It's actually the way top fanciers introduce a new layer of winning strength. The most successful breeders out there use line breeding, which is a controlled form of inbreeding that keeps strong genetics without taking on the extreme risks. Instead of pairing direct relatives, breeders will use distant relatives to reinforce the traits they want. Common examples you might see are grandfather to granddaughter or half-brother to half-sister pairings. This strategy helps preserve the elite bloodline while safely reducing the risk of genetic problems. Most world-class fanciers are actually masters at combining line breeding with selective outcrossing, building strong, healthy and high-performance bloodlines that consistently dominate. If you're really serious about breeding elite racing pigeons, Here's the proven four-step strategy used by the world's best lofts. Step one, select elite breeding stock. Always start with pigeons that have proven race performance or come from verified champion bloodlines. Look for fast flight speed, a strong homing instinct, powerful body structure, and excellent reproductive health. Never ever breed from birds with weak race records or poor immune systems. Step two, use controlled line breeding to anchor strengths. Begin with light line breeding pairings, like half brother to half sister, to lock in those desirable traits and keep a close eye on the offspring. Any bird that shows genetic weaknesses or underperformance should be immediately removed from the breeding program. Step three, introduce selective outcrossing for vigor. After a few generations of successful line breeding, bring in an unrelated pigeon from another powerful, proven strain to add fresh genetic diversity. This can dramatically strengthen the immune system and boost stamina for long distance adaptability. Of course, the outcross must also be a high quality race winning bird to keep the overall standard high. Step four, test, test and test again. Genetics give you the potential, but testing reveals the champions. You'll need to test every generation to spot the best racers, use short distance training flights, watch how they return in different weather, and track their performance in multiple race entries. Only the birds that maintain peak health and show consistent winning ability should be kept and used for future breeding. By repeating this cycle of rigorous selection, testing and genetic refinement, you'll develop a world-class racing pigeon bloodline that can consistently win competitions. Understanding the fastest racing pigeon breeds is just the starting point for success. But honestly, mastering their genetics is what separates a good fancier from a world-class breeder. The elite bloodlines, Janssen, Huben van Ryl, Mulemans and Koopman. These provide your foundation. But your breeding strategy, that's what determines the results. So, remember these core principles. Inbreeding preserves key traits, but it absolutely requires careful control. Genetic diversity strengthens health and endurance, and it must be balanced with inbreeding. A combination of line breeding, rigorous testing, and selective outcrossing is what produces the fastest, healthiest, and most consistent winners. Success in pigeon racing, believe it or not, starts not in the air, but in the breeding loft. Apply these techniques, keep refining your program, and you'll be well on your way to developing your own winning bloodline. If you found this guide helpful, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of champion racing. And what other advanced topics in pigeon racing would you like me to cover next? Just let me know in the comments below.